Hello there guys and welcome to a brand new episode of the Fever 21 career mode with AC Milan and today we've got episode 6 of the career mode and we're starting things off with an offer, well not actually, not actually an offer as Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 6 months left in his contract is going to make a move to Man City at the end of his contract. And so in the last episode then, guys, we did manage to get Mike Mignon into the club. Finally, we had to sort of modify it, mod, use mods in a way to get him into the club. We had to move uh, Donnarumma to PSG, give Hust the money that he would we basically would have got for the sale, and then go ahead and sign Mike Mignon. But finally, the team is looking complete. We also got Balo Torre into the team last episode as well. He joined us at the start of January. And we did also then play two games in the last episode. We played against Juventus. We ended up losing that one 2 1, which was really unfortunate. But we did play in the Milan derby and ended up getting a massive 1 0 win, guys. Damsgaard with the winner. But yeah, Inter Milan still miles away from us. And so after the Donnarumma transfer then, we do still have around about 53 million in the transfer budget. So there is a little bit of business I want to do before we leave this January transfer window. And so then guys, just taking a quick look at the calendar for today's episode. I think we are going to get through quite a lot of games. Because again, I do want to try and get through to the second season. Where we're hopefully going to have Champions League football, make new signings as well. And again, a lot of these teams we're going to be simulating anyway. So, well, teams like Lazio, we are going to play in that game. But again, we should be getting through a lot of games in today's episode. And so then, guys, just before we go any further then into today's episode, please don't forget, if you do enjoy it, please go down below and drop a like on the video, guys. We can hit over 250 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. And also, guys, if you are new here and you want to see more videos like this, hit the red subscribe button down below. But let's go ahead then and get into some of your guys' comments from the previous episode and into the first one, which does say, In real life, Kerr and Tamori started mostly for Milan and were amazing for us. And that is exactly the lineup we've got at the moment. That is the main sort of two, two uh, how, how should I say, the main partnership we are going with moving forward. But it does make me feel bad for Ro Magnoli, but he is getting changed in, you know, in certain games. But at the moment, Kerr and Tamori doing really well for us. But let's get into the next comment then, guys, which I think I've kind of already answered before, but let's get straight into it here, which says, do you plan on doing a create a club career mode? If so, it would be so sick. By the way, keep up the amazing work. I do appreciate that. But yeah, a create a club career mode, I do want to do that. Now, I don't know what to do first on FIBA 22. See, there seems to be that much, like, like options. Do I start a player career first? Do I start a, a manager mode first? Do I start a create a club first? I don't know what to do first. Maybe try and create all three, maybe not on the same day, but create all three and then just rotate them. So manager mode one day, player career the next, create a club the day after. I'm not too sure how it's going to work at the moment. But yeah, create a club, definitely going to do that. It's going to be interesting to see how it pans out. Does your club automatically start in the lowest league? So if you're in Spain, does it start in the second, uh, the second or third division? In England, does it start in, start in League 2? So yeah, again, it's going to be interesting to see how it how it actually pans out. But let's get into the next then and final comment for today's episode. Which is to say, I don't know why, but when I'm playing with players who have super short hair, they always flop for me. An example is Ziyech. And i got to admit, guys, Ziyech, he has been a good player for us. As you can see, he's gone up by two overalls in all competitions, 26 appearances. 8 goals, 5 assists, an average rating of 7.5. So on paper, uh, well, you could say on the menus, he actually doesn't like he's done that bad. But in game, I don't know. He just doesn't feel like the perfect player for me. I do feel like in the future, we will end up moving Brahim into the middle there. And then maybe, you know, Salah's makers on the right-hand side. Because Ziyech, I don't know what it is about him, but I'm just not finding it too comfortable. And we do finally then have two players that have returned from injury. Diego Dalot did return, I think, at the start of today's episode. And Sellers Makers did return in the last episode. So we need to get these two back into the team. And like I say, guys, what I think I might do is rotate Ziyech and Brahim in that number 10 role. And then get Sellers Makers on that right hand side. And now I did mention then at the start of today's episode, we do have 53 million left in the transfer budget. Now, of course, Nikola Vlasic links heavily with AC Milan now. I'm pretty certain he have made a bid and it's been, you know, turned away. I'm not too sure. That might just be, you know, what, what I've read and not actually be true. But Nikola Vlasic isn't actually an AC Milan player as of yet. And with that 53 million, could we afford him? We definitely could. But I think, guys, you know what? You know what I think the play is here right now? And that's if we can afford him. And if a certain club will let him go for the right price, is going to be Brahim. I did say two episodes ago that I did want to try and sign him. And now we have the money to. And he has actually gone back to AC Milan on a two-year loan. I do want to try and approach to buy him in today's episode. So just before we go any further then, in to making some transfers in today's episode. Let's take a look at the season objectives. And again, guys, only the one completed so far. 
The next closest one, as we know, is scored 20 goals of Ibra, now only eight goals away. And you did say you did see at the start of the episode. Man City are going to get him next season because obviously they've offered him a contract. His contract was running out. And I think, you know what, guys? Let's move Ibra on next season and then try and sign a new striker next season, guys. So as good as Ibra is, we do need someone with pace and someone that is up and coming. But here we go then. Let's get into this transfer right now, guys. Now, we know from where did I work it out? I think I worked it out this way that he's worth, okay, 39 million is his value right now. We've got 53. And let's have a see how much Real Madrid are going to want for him. Because I can imagine they'll want a lot. And I want to make the transfer now rather than next season. Because next season might be 83, 84 rate. And his value is just going to get higher and higher and higher. So I'd rather sign him right now when, you know, he's worth 39 million. But let's have a see. Offer transfer fee. And 81 rated, 39 million. And, okay, let's see. Maybe we can offer 37.5. Get him a little bit cheaper. You never know. Zidane might not be happy that I've offered so little compared to his value, but we'll have a see. And, okay, they want that, but a 9% sell-on clause. I'm more than happy with that, guys. Sell-on clause, we're probably not going to sell him. And we're getting for one and a half million cheaper than his current value. So let's go ahead. Let's accept that. So now that we have then agreed terms with Real Madrid, let's get into the contract talks right now. So now that we know he's on 62,000 currently and he's on a sporadic squad roll, I don't think he's going to accept that squad role, if I'm going to be honest. Now being 81 rated, he probably did at the time when he signed. Um, okay, rotation. Okay, I can actually work with that because I did say I want to rotate him and ZH. Let's move on and, okay, five-year deal. Even better. And current wage 240k. Okay, so he's on 240k at Real Madrid. Wow, okay. And he was on the 62k while he was here. So I'm guessing we were paying 62k. Real Madrid, we're paying the rest. That's all I could imagine. But 240,000. Good job we paid less for him. A release clause, let's accept that. Do not want a release clause. And okay, Wade, he's going to take a big decrease here, but he wants an appearance bonus. Let's remove that. Let's up this here to maybe 180. And yeah, I think we're pretty much sorted there. 180k, 1.4 million signing on bonus. That is a big amount of money. But Brahim is going to be a big future star for us in this career mode, and we can't give him up. Like I say, if he goes back at the end of the season. We might not be able to afford him. So we're here right now, we could be getting him into the team. And we do exactly that. There we go. Brian, uh, Brian, uh, Brian Diaz does join AC Milan. And there we go then, guys. Brian Diaz has now come to us with a player chat right now. Saying, you know, I've been happy playing here. Just hope we can go on and win things together. Now, of course, I echo them exact words. We've worked hard to make this happen, and we definitely have. But let's get into simming some of these games then, guys. So I think I'm going to sim part of them this way, but then also part of them uh, basically simming through the calendar because there's that many games I want to get through in today's episode. I don't think physically simming them every single game like this is going to be possible. Well, let's get into the first one here. Using Eze, and we're going to get a 3-0 win. Theo Hernandez, guys, by the way, obviously we got the objective, have you seen, to get 10 assists. It should be 10 goals because I think right now with that goal, He's now got five goals in all competitions. We're well, straight into our next game then, and we are playing in the Coppa Italia. We're taking on Parma, who actually gave us a defeat in the last episode, guys. I was so annoyed at that, but I think at the same time, I was so distracted, thinking we've had no transfer offers to Donnarumma and all that sort of stuff. So, let's get into this. Parma, we are going to be at home. Coppa Italia, we need the win. We've got a stronger start in 11 up. Let's quick sim this. Come on, guys. Get the win against Parma. We do. Kessie missing a penalty, though. Unfortunately, Phil Hernandez scoring again. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, he's unreal. Um, but there we go, 3-1 win. And now I don't think I showed you guys then in the last episode of the Europa League. Now I know you guys have seen our next game against Rapid Rien. And yeah, uh, round of 32, you can see the other teams there. But again, we should be getting through into the next round. And I think we even might have the round of 16 in today's episode. I'm not too sure as of yet. But into our next game then at Sassuolo. And we are going to be away from home for this one. Now Kessie did pick up an injury. I didn't go ahead and check that. So we're going to check that after this game. But let's see this one right now and get the win. Come on, guys. And yeah, there we go. 3-2 win. Ziyech, Rebic, and Rebic scoring two in that game. But yeah, let's take a look right now and take a look at this injury. Okay, so I go to the injury list and Kessie isn't on the injury list. Let's take a look through some of the other teams whilst we're here as well. You see Napoli got a big injury there. To Fabinho, Torino got two big injuries. Let's take a look at Juventus while we're here and into Milan. And they haven't got any injuries either. So Kessie must be back fully fit now then, I'm guessing. Uh, let's go down here. Kess oh, yeah, he is. Okay, so it must have been like, what, three or four day injury? Okay then, guys, so we might have a problem with the fact that we transferred Donnarumma to PSG, and I don't think the board know about that because right now we've got an email saying um, Donnarumma is approaching directly and claims that I've made no attempt to resolve any issues and all this sort of stuff, yet he's no longer at the club. So if I click go to Squad Hub, Donnarumma, he's not there. He's not there, guys. So, 
Yeah, I think we might have made a little bit of a mistake there, but I don't think it should cause any problems in the career mode. I hope not anyway. So after the first couple of games, then we have simmed in today's episode. You guys can see we're in third place, still at level on points with Juventus. Inter Milan have lost another game though, so we're only six points behind them. And our next game coming up is going to be Lazio. But let's go ahead then and get into this game against Lazio, guys. Now, I'm excited for this one because Mike Mignon, I've not actually used him yet. And obviously, I won't be really using him in this game. But we're going to see how he performs in this game against Lazio. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's get the three points and let's hope Inter Milan lose their game. Here we go. Hernandez plays it inside. Ibra. ZX can see the run. Go on. Rebic, make it 1-0. Rebic, and there we go. It's 1-0. Four minutes into this game, guys, already. And we take the lead against Lazio. What a start in this game. Rebic making a great run. And yeah, okay. What a celebration to choose. But uh, but yeah, there you go. Great build up already straight into this one. Ziyech with the assist. After me sort of bad mouthing him at the start of the episode. And yeah, there we go. One nil up already. Hernandez. Here we go. Ziyech now finds Ibra. who's going to hit it from here. Ibra. That's a great save from the goalkeeper. Go on. It falls. It falls to Brahim. Can win the header. Ibra. Find Brahim. Okay, back to Ibra maybe. Okay, inside Ziyech with a touch. The shot maybe and he gets taken off him. Okay, we're backtracking right now. Gomez. Okay, okay, okay. Just going to watch the pass. Okay, back pass in the end. Lucas Leiva now. Okay, back inside. Gomez. No, 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 no. Care. Take care of it. No. Gomez, how has this happened? And Lazio get themselves level in this game. No way. How has that just happened there? I thought we had that under control. As soon as he did the back pass and then he found Lucas Leiva. I thought, oh, we're undercover now. Undercover. We've got cover now, and we've got plenty of people back. And that just didn't seem to be the case. And now Lazio 1-1 in this game. Here's another look at this. Let's take a look at Mike Mignon in this as well. And yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I don't think any goalkeeper is stopping that. Not again, not again. Immobile on the ball right now. Just unable to get the better of him. There we go. Look at that. Tamori and Kerr. Tamori couldn't get a job done. Kerr did. And Kerr's been called up once again. Hernandez, everyone's everywhere at the minute. Literally, everyone is everywhere. I don't know who's in the box. And there we go, Fio Hernandez just covering up for us at the, at the left there. There we go now, Rebic. Rebic has got a pace, Ibra hasn't, no, but Ibra is making the run. Maybe Ziyech in the middle, I can't find him. Vanessa, here we go, Ibra. Brahim now, Brahim, okay, roll that. Okay, just keep it, that's great. Find Ibra, Ibra's going to turn him. Ibra's going to go to the shot, straight at Pepe Reina. Okay, I thought Tomori did the job at the back, but Kerr does the job anyway. But here we go, and did he make a move to Bayern? Okay, Bayern not messing around. Here we go, Ibra. Where is the options right now? Not got many options on the ball. Okay, Brahim. Back to Brahim. Okay, never mind. Back to Ibra. He's going to roll it. That is great. Ibra with the shots. And it gets blocked so easily. Ziyech. There we go. Through. Ibra. Ibra. Back to Ziyech. There we go. Finish that, please. There we go. Back in front in this game, guys. Ziyech scoring 2-1. Did he score the first one or was it Ibra? I can't remember. I know. I think it was Ziyech with the assist. I might be wrong. It's, it was one of them. I can't, I can't remember who right now. Rebic scored the first goal, that was right. But yeah, Ibra, I felt like I felt like if Ibra didn't hurry up and play that pass, that goal just wouldn't have happened. Sally the Makers, I think we might sub him on soon. But uh, but yeah, there we go, 2-1, finally. Okay, let's not let this lead slip. Lazari, Tamori, that's, he, it's so, it helps so much of his pace. No, Tamori wants. Tamori, I thought he was going to get the better of him. Doesn't in the end, but Mike Mignon making the save. Okay, poor pass, poor pass. Lucas Leiva now. Okay, when the pressure is not over as of yet. Oh, come on. Let's not let Lazio get another goal. And, okay, okay. They're doing what they sort of did before where they go back a little bit. Then he suddenly seems to go forward and score. Lazari. No, come on. Someone. There we go. Kessie clearing it up at the back. And there we go, guys. The full time whistle goes in this one. And we get a good 2-1 win against Lazio. Got to be honest, a lot closer than a 40 in that game. But I'm just glad we walk away. With the big three points. So as expected in guys. Inter Milan haven't dropped any points. Us and Juventus are still level on points. But there is starting to be quite a bit, gap, a bit of a gap now. Between third and fourth place. Which is nice to see. I'm hoping we do secure a top four finish. So after beating Parma then in the round of 16. We now have the quarterfinals of the Coppa Italia. And now we have Inter Milan coming up guys. I did not expect that. Two, two or oh, so three days after that game against Lazio. So I've not had a chance to rest any key players at all. So let's have a see what lineup I can pick. And so just taking a quick look then at the two lineups. And our lineup isn't actually that bad. We've recovered quite well after that game against Lazio. So I'm quite surprised. So we're going to go with our main starting 11. And we do have Salah's makers on the bench, don't we? Yeah, he is on the bench. I did try and bring him on in that game. Didn't seem to happen in the end. Balotore, I do want to try and give him some game time. A lot. I need to get him back into the team as well. So there's a lot that does need to happen in this episode. But let's get this game out of the way first. Inter Milan. We did beat them in the last episode 1-0, but that was through Damsgaard. So maybe that's our magic card. Bring him on in this game. 
He might get us the goal we need, but let's get into it. Ziyech, there we go. Great, great. Maybe back for Ziyech. No way. De Vrij just able to cut that one out. He knew exactly what was going on there. But, uh, but yeah, Inter Milan always going to be a tough one, this. And we do have the season objective to not lose to them in all competitions, by the way. So it's not just in the Serie A, it's in all competitions. So Coppa Italia does count as well. So it would be interesting to see how us two get on. That's a great ball. Brahim now able to use his pace. Looking, looking for Ibra in the middle. There we go. Oh, Ibra. Okay, Bastoni, I thought he was going to head that one away. And when he didn't head it away, I thought, oh, there we go. Ibra might just be able to head it in and he couldn't. Rebic, three goals in his last three games. He's in good form right now. Come on, Ibra, come on. Come on, make it 1-0, Ibra. Oh, never mind. Rebic lays it off. Kessie with the shot. But it's blocked. Kerr now maybe with a shot. Blocked once again. Brahim maybe down this right-hand side. Okay, okay, getting closed off. The pass, the pass once again. Ibra, Ibra, wow, okay. We just can't seem to get a shot past any of these defenders. Lay it off as... Oh, never mind. Oh, it's a great ball for Martinez. Martinez, Perisic. Yeah, 1-0. Guys, I do not know what happened there. I don't know why Perisic had so much space on our left-hand side. As soon as we had that corner, they hit us on the counter. And Martinez, it was a great ball over the top, to be fair. Here's a look at the replay again. We, we were just caught tracking back after the corner, and they've got us on the counter. But here's a look at the replay right now. And you can see, again, Martinez. So much space there for Perisic. No one could get back in time. We're literally running back from that corner, and he's just running through on goal. And there you go. 1-0 into Milan. Ben Asser can see the run from Ibra. And, okay, just offside there. Ben Asser. Now, back to Ibra now. Okay. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we, we just can't seem to find a way of playing in this game. Inter Milan definitely found their way of playing, of hitting us on the counter. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're absolutely done here. We're absolutely done. Lukaku, come on. Someone take control of this situation. Let's not go 2-0 down before our time. Nangolan and Tamori. Can we just get one away? And there we go. We're getting away. That's a great ball down once again. Perisic in space. Calabria just getting caught out so much in this game. So much that it's getting Perisic through on goal. Mike Mignon. That's a great save. Great save. Benassa for Tenali. I might make that change soon. Because this team needs something. Just needs a wake-up call right now. Because Inter Milan all over us. They've got themselves a corner. Perisic whipping it in. Head that one away. S wow, okay. Skriniar makes it 2-0 for Inter Milan. What a mountain we have to climb in this second half, guys. We just cannot seem to get the ball moving. We have no sort of like chemistry at all in this game. And there you go. Great cross in. It's a great header as well. Mike Mignon, look at it. Didn't even move. And there you go. Inter Milan 2-0 up. Okay, Ziyech, just able to run into space at the moment. Rebic, go on, Ibra, Ibra, no, okay, Ziyech. Oh, De Vrij, that's great defending, great block from him once again in this game. And, okay, Inter Milan going to make another change. Barella's already come off now, and goal line is going to go off, and Vidal is going to come on. Here we go, where should we go with this? Let's find Kessie, and, okay, didn't even go to plan. No, no, Martinez, care, no, off the post, Martinez. That was so close. So, so close. And even the last time we met, he hit off the post as well. Kessie just trying to run away from Lukaku. Lukaku is on him. There we go. Rebic. Let's go. Okay. Go on. Ibra. Get into the box. Ibra. Ibra, please. Okay. Ibra's not even in the box. The cross is in. Brahim. Yeah, he's never getting to that, is he? That's great. Brahim. Could get us back into this. Brahim. Maybe the pass now. Ziyech. Okay, yeah. The attack's broke down. The attack has absolutely broke down right now. Nowhere to go. Forward, can't get it forward, just can't get past that back line. There we go, Ziyech right now. Ziyech, go on, Rebic, please be on side. Please be on side right now. Please be on side. Find Ibra, find Ibra with the cross. Okay, Skriniar plays it out. Goal kick, what? Okay, I was adamant that Skriniar kicked that one out of play. Kessie, here we go. Damsgaard now on the pitch. Hopefully he can come up with something for us in this time, in this game against Inter Milan. Okay, made a great run there. Tonali, back. Damsgaard, there we go. Ibra, Ibra, roll it in. That's great. Cut back. The extra touch. Oh, should have found the pass to Damsgaard. Should have made that pass. Tonali. Here we go. Damsgaard now. The run on the right-hand side. Salah's makers is on as well. Here we go. Calabria. Inside. Ibra. Oh, no way, guys. Yeah, that is it. This is this game over and done with. That is that game. This is... Oh, my God. I can't get my words out. This game, in a nutshell, is that pass there from Ibra. I'm not blaming Ibra, but we just cannot get past their back line. Whatever we do... Just cannot go past, you can't go over the top because obviously their defender's are tall. Ibra, you know, is going to be outnumbered. And there we go, there we go. A little bit dirty, but let's go, let's go. Ibra, there we go. Oh, what, again? What, what, what am I telling you guys? Again. And there we are, guys. The full time whistle goes in this quarterfinals in the Coppa Italia. And Inter Milan walk away as the winners. 2 0 win. 
And yeah, I, I, I've showed you guys, we just could not get past that back line. Whatever we tried over the top, crosses into the box, working into the box, passes, whatever, it just didn't work. So I got to admit then guys, they did not enjoy that quarterfinals against Inter Milan. It was a completely different game than what we played against them in this area. And they absolutely destroyed us in that game. So good at the back, so good going forward. And we just could not get anything out of it. You can see the semi-finals right now. Juventus has taken on Atalanta. Inter taking on Lees. Well, let's get into our next game then. We are taking on Sampdoria in this area. And it's another game that we are going to sim. Now, hopefully we pick ourselves back up and get back to winning ways. Let's take a look right now. Quick sim. Come on, I know we're away from home. But we still do get a 3-0 in. Ibra pick up an injury. Giroud coming on. Rebic, Ziyech and Kese with the goals. But Ibra with another injury. And so then, guys, the injury that Ibra did pick up in that last game is going to be out for up to eight weeks. So we're looking at a two-month injury for Ibrahimovic. So you're looking around about the end of March, early April, when he is going to return into the team. But here we go, then, guys. Another game we are going to sim in today's episode. We've got Palmer once again. I feel like all we do is play against Palmer. But let's go ahead. Let's quick sim. Liao is going to lead the line for us. And I'm guessing Giroud is going to play a massive part whilst Ibra is out injured. But there we go. 3-1 win. Brahim, Rebic and Kese with the goals. And into our next one then. We've got Udinese. And we are going to be at home once again. Now I have got these players on the bench building up some sharpness. You've got Dalot. You've got Balotore. Um, Salas Makers as well building up his match sharpness as well. So again we should be seeing them back in the team sometime soon. But let's go ahead. Quick sim this one right now. Liao. Come on, you've got to score. You've got to score in this one. And he doesn't. See, he's got two goals in this game. It is two goals for him. And Rebic with a goal as well. And so then, guys, we've got an email here, which is about Damsgaard and a position change. Now, I completely forgot about this. I can't even remember what position we chose for him. He's currently a left winger. So what did I choose? Left mid? Did I? Oh, yes. Left I was worried I chose Cam, because that's not where we were going to play him. We're going to play Brahim at Cam and then Damsgaard at left mid. But let's have a see. And he doesn't go up in overall, man. You're joking. I thought he was going to go up. Let's get him on inverted wide winger. Let's increase that finishing. And does that do his crossing? That doesn't do his crossing. That's going to be important for us. But then again, crossing all depends on the next, you know, next striker that we do bring in. And so then, guys, we now have two legs against Rapid VN. And we should be getting the win. Why is Tanali playing at centre-back? I don't know why that is. Um, where's Tamori? Um, so, okay, he's got a red card. Okay, let's play Roe Magnoli. Why are we playing Tenali there? But, uh, yeah, we've got two legs now against them. And let's have a see how we're doing this first leg. If we get a comfortable win, I don't see why we should be playing any of them. But let's have a see. Let's quick sim away from home. And we do get a 3-2 win in that one. So, yeah, Rebic, Theo Hernandez once again. Another goal in this episode. And Brahim getting a goal as well. And now we have another player then that have completed their development plan as well. We've got Salas Makers this time. Converted from a right winger to a right mid. Is he going to increase? And at least, finally, guys, going up to an 80 how good is that? And again, another player that hasn't got decent finishing. So let's increase his finishing there. But I'm just so glad we've converted someone and their overall has actually increased. Okay then, guys. So just taking a quick look then at the Serie A table before we get into our final game in today's episode. We're taking on Cagliari and you can see they're in 8th place on 39 points. But Inter Milan, it looks like they... Have they dropped points? Because... Oh, no, they haven't dropped points. I thought they had then. I realised, obviously, we do have a game in hand. And obviously, win this game, we do go back to six points behind them. But Inter... But... Uh, not Inter, sorry. Juventus have dropped points, though. They're two points behind us. And a win in this game would put them five points behind us. But let's get into our final game, then, for today's episode. Cagliari, and we are going to be away from home. Now, have made some changes. D Diego Dalot coming back into the team. Salas Makers coming back into the team as well. They both got a minus one. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's be honest. Brahim going to play behind Liao. Liao was up front for his damn guard on the left. Uh, why is Rebic not out on the left-hand side? And, okay, where's Rebic gone? Rebic? Okay, he's got a red card. That's why. Okay. I'm completely baffled there. But, okay, completely different team to what I was expecting to go with into this game. But let's get into it now. Cagliari. And let's get the win. There we go. We're getting the pressure on early. Brahim. And, okay, yeah, never mind. Liao was offside. The pass went to no one. In the end, but I really do think we can grab the first goal early on in this game. We could definitely be on for a high-scoring game this time round. Just confident in the team. And I do like it when Liao is playing up front. Even though he's not the highest-rated player. Okay, we could be in trouble. Um, even though he's not the highest-rated player, he is still really good up front. Okay, we could be caught out here. No, no. What? Off the post. Wow, okay. There's me saying, oh, we grabbed the first goal early. More like Cagliari grabbing the first goal early. Look at this again for the play. The great pass there. Finish just almost on point off the post. Mike Mignon beaten there. But you could see he had it covered. Obviously because it hit the post. And there we go. Dalot. It was headed away. Brahim. No one. Liao. Liao. There we go. Liao. Liao. Roll it. Do him. Liao. Do him. Go on. No. 
No, what's going on? Oh, what? I should have shot first time, guys. I was trying to be too cocky there. Literally, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, messing around. Okay, see? Here we go. Ball forward. There we go. That's a great ball. Dam's got Leo. Oh, again, their goalkeeper on point in this game. Fair enough, Leo. The first chance should have put that one away. But this time, coming out of goal. Kessie, okay, inside. Leo, take it forward. Take it round. There we go, Leo. The back pass. The back pass. Okay, never mind. Oh, just didn't work out. Raheem, here we go. Leo. Oh, wow. Okay, defending on point once again in this game. We just cannot seem to get past the back line. I don't know. Ever since that Inter Milan game, we're just struggling a little bit. Okay, over the top ball. Got to deal with this one. Deal with this. Deal with this. Okay, can't deal with this. Nandez. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's not allow them into this. No. We're all over the place. We're all over the place right now. No, no way. Oh, an easy save. Mike Mignon. And he's offside in the end. No, we're being absolutely outplayed right now. There we go, Tomori. Right place. Right time. Read that one perfectly. Let's go. Let's go on the counter right now. Benassa. Brahim. Brahim. Where are we going? Where are we going right now? Okay, back to him. Liao. Liao. Go on. Liao, find him. Nice. No, oh, just couldn't get past. No, we're getting done. Yep, yeah, there you go. Jao Pedro makes it 1 0 for Cagliari in this game, 64 minutes in. And they found the back of the net, something we've been able to do since the first minute. The get go, we should have scored that early goal. I shouldn't have messed around with Liao. Why did I try and drag it back? Ball roll it. I should have just shot, tried to get it in. Cagliari now, you can see here again, just couldn't do enough. Just could not do enough in there. And yeah, there you go. Cagliari make it 1 0. Right, here we go, guys. Let's get straight back into this game right now. Come on, Brahim. There we go, Brahim. Go on, find Liao. Liao, use your pace. Use your pace. Roll it. No, Liao. No, no, no way. No. Do I have to get Giroud on? Do I have to get Giroud on right now? Because we just can't seem to do anything up front. No, 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 no way. Oh, thank God. Thank God. We've got three minutes left. I don't think we're getting anything out of this game, guys. We cannot... Get out of our own half. And if we do, the passing is so poor right now. So we made two changes again. Three minutes to go. Ziyech, Giroud coming on. A little bit of experience plus quality in there as well. But again, three minutes to go. Could we rescue a draw? Maybe. And there we go, guys. The full time whistle goes in this game. Cagliari walk away with a 1-0 win at home. And yeah, we we're just poor in this game. I think we we're just lacking quality in the team. I think I should have started Ziyech. And, yeah, I think Ziyech should have started, maybe. Oh, Rebic was, had a red card, didn't he? Maybe even Giroud should have started. But let's just sim one more game then in today's episode, guys. The second leg against Rapid Vienna. And now, obviously, we did get the 3-2 win away from home in the last game. So, pretty much right now, three away goals to one away goal. If you work it out that way, we should be going through into the next round. Come on. The win. And we there we go. 4 no win. Benassero with a red card. Why are we picking up so many red cards? Rebic, Ziyech... Rafael Liao finally scoring and he scored two in this game. Well, here is then, guys, how the Serie A table is looking at the moment at the end of today's episode. And as you can see, we've got 60 points right now. So, again, I think a top four finish was looking really likely. But uh, dropping points to Cagliari hasn't helped us whatsoever. And Atalanta and Napoli... Only four points behind us. So after getting the two wins then in the round of 32, you guys are about to see right now who we got in the round of 16. And we do have Spurs, guys. Not an easy two legs at all in the round of 16. Bayern, okay, they're in the Europa League right now, taking on Leipzig. Any other tough games? Okay, Ajax, Leverkusen, Arsenal are in here as well. So again, some really big teams. But there we go then, guys. That's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget, drop a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.